I've been having a bit of a play around with the um, spool gun that, uh, that I've got over here and what I've done is I've changed the roll of wire that came in the gun and I've put one on that I bought on eBay uh, not particularly anything special this super 6 aluminium welding wire um, I've just seemed to note I, th I thought I was having a lot of trouble with the old wire that came with it uh, so I thought I will uh, swap it out anyway I, it's still a mess um, what I've done but I'm just basically playing around with it compared to how it was the uh, n new wire which I'm trying you can actually see it uh, pooling and melting uh, so I thought um, this is this old uh, Land Rover wing now so, some time back I got some new ones because I couldn't stand the big gaping holes in the wings so uh, I, I bought some new ones off, well, second-hand ones off eBay. Now, I've just been playing around. So what I've done is I've just taken the grinder quickly to the edges of this, underneath and on top. And this is a bit of scrap aluminium I had lying around. Uh, I'm doing this really fast. Basically, I'm just playing around with this wing because I was treating it pretty much as scrap. I've clamped a piece of stainless steel sheet metal underneath here in the vise and I'm going to lay that little disc of aluminium in there and I'm going to see if I can MIG weld that through, uh, together now in theory the stainless steel won't weld at all it may cause some blackening I'm not sure but uh, I just sort of thought we'll see what how this works out say I'm really doing this pretty quickly if it does bond in, weld in, then what I can do is I can tap the metal from the back and bring it more to the surface, you know, level it up a bit. But um, it's just an interesting little project to see what it does. I expect this to be an awful mess, a, to a total failure. It's just me playing around with the with the with a spill gun basically. The disc isn't a very good fit but I'm just sort of hoping that uh, I'll be able to fill fill it in with weld like I possibly could do with a MIG with a stand, standard steel MIG wave. Anyway. I think I'll turn the current up a little bit more. It's on minimum current at the moment. Uh, it is actually doing something. I'm pretty sure I could grind this back.
you know, I, I think if a work that start for a while, go over with an angle ground and clean that up, I think that's going to be uh, starting to take some reasonable form. Anyway, I'm, I'll, uh, I'll attack that with a grinder, see how it looks in a minute. Okay, I've uh, just taken the scrap of stainless, well, it's alloy, uh, stainless alloy, you know, it's stainless steel is an alloy, but a piece of scrap steel off the back, so it wasn't clamped up particularly well, you know, I'm not just doing this quick as a lash up, so there was a gap, and you can see where the aluminium's pulled through, and um, but it won't bond to the stainless steel so basically it's just pulled through and sat on the back so basically I'm going to grind that off then I'll probably go over this side with the MIG and see how uh, how I can tidy it all up you know make a do a, a nice weld around on the back end uh, anyway I'll carry on I'll play with it Okay, now this is very much uh, just a quick um, attempt at uh, using this to fill in a uh, disc shape hole, you know, in uh, the wing. And, uh, you know, I've, got, I've welded over the two sides, I've ground it back. And it is there, it is, it is done. Uh, you know, with the a lot more finishing uh, and taking a bit more precautions on this I reckon uh, I could uh, do holes in my Land Rover uh, you see I got rid of this wing because I was pretty pissed off with the with the amount of holes in it uh, I was gonna just skim it on um, uh, put some you know, do like many many people do, put some pop rivets in and uh, and put some plates under it and skim it over. But in the end, I got fed up. I wanted to have a wing which had solid metal in it. Um, you know, even uh, even if it's got dents in it, uh, I just wanted the holes to be solid and not patched up with glue. Right, so uh, I say it was a scrap wing and a scrap wing with a patched hole. So with a bit of work I've uh, managed to do some repairs on the Land Rover so I've used the same sort of system I've clamped al uh, stainless steel plates behind the aluminium and then I've welded through and basically by putting the stainless steel under I'm able to weld across the top of the um, the stainless steel float a weld right across it and bond the aluminium to the other points where it's missing so I've basically been able to fill in quite large gaps in the metalwork by doing this um, it's not beautiful but um, you know I could clean it up quite well and skim it with a little filler here and there or I could spend a lot more time going over it with a Dremel tool uh, but basically this vehicle is really more of a workhorse uh, once it's painted up it should do its job uh, also been fitting the plastic fuel tank in anyway starting to rain packing up time